Hi friends, welcome back to my new video, new lecture. Today we are going to solve a problem on a spear. So till now we have solved a problem on the slab and a slab and the cylinder. Now we are going for problem on a spear. And for the spear, I am going to start with a simple problem. Let's understand problem first and then we'll go for solving it. Determine heat flow from a thin spherical container 1.8 meter diameter covered with this is actually outer diameter you want to use so this is container 1.8 meter outer diameter covered with 30 centimeter layer of asbestos let me show first of all a spherical container so if i draw a spherical container over here so spherical container will come something like this so this is spherical container of 1.8 meter diameter so 1.8 meter diameter i can show as like this so diameter of this is given to you 1.8 meters so let me show this is 1.8 meter okay then covered with 30 centimeter layer of asbestos over this over this there is a 30 centimeter layer of asbestos so let me draw 30 centimeter layer of asbestos so i am drawing asbestos layer as like this okay so this is what asbestos and its thickness is given to you how much is the thickness given to you it's a 30 centimeter so this thickness 30 centimeter and that centimeter has to be divided into meters so 30 divided by if you make it 100 so it will become 0.3 meter so this is point all dimension we are taking in a meter so 0.3 meter okay and this is made of asbestos Temperature at inner and outer surface of asbestos are minus 183 and 0 degrees Celsius. So, their temperatures are given. If this is the asbestos, asbestos inner surface temperature. So, this temperature and outer surface temperature is given to you. Inner surface temperature is minus 183 degrees Celsius. Outer temperature is given to you 0 degrees Celsius. These are two temperatures are given to you. The conductivity of insulation that is asbestos which is equal to 0.157 so the thermal conductivity the K the K for asbestos is given to you how much 0.157 so K is 0.157 watt per meter Kelvin that's what given so what I have done is I have plotted the system which is given to that and what we have to determine we have to determine heat transfer we have to determine heat transfer with this i have to determine heat transfer okay so this is what the given data let's understand problem clearly that we are having one container whose diameter is given to you 1.8 meter over that asbestos is kept asbestos inner temperature is minus 183 outer temperature is 0 degree celsius Thickness of asbestos is 0.3. Thermal conductivity K is given. And what I have to determine is Q. So for determination of Q, for the determination of Q, I can use a simple formula as delta T upon summation of RTH, which we are using till now. Same formula I am going to use it. But here, what happen is, here, we have to determine thermal resistance. Again. How many resistances are present between these two temperatures? There is only asbestos, so there is only one resistance, and that resistance is a conductive resistance. Means here temperature, if I check the temperature which is present here is minus 183 degrees Celsius, and here temperature is 0 degree Celsius, and in between we are having thermal resistance, and that thermal resistance is conductive resistance. Why conductive resistance? Because we are having this as a solid and it will be conduction only okay now i want delta d of rth delta d upon rth what is rth rth is only one resistance what is rth for spear that you must be knowing for spear rth this formula you must be knowing what is rth for spear ro minus ri divided by 4 pi k ro ri that is the resistance so you must know what is ro ri 4 pi is constant. K must be known. R O R I must be known. What is R O and R I for this asbestos? 
what is ro and ri for this asbestos we are knowing a diameter this one so from that i can determine ri in that if i am going to add this then we will get ro so from this if i write here only ri ri is 1.8 by 2 correct so it is 1.8 by 2 because 1.8 is the diameter so it will come 0.9 meter you can use r1 r2 symbol okay ro outer radius outer radius will be inner radius plus 0.3 so inner radius is 0.9 plus 0.3 so it will become how much uh, 0.9 plus 0.3 so it will become 1.2 meter 1.2 meter so we got ri we got ro let's put all the values in rth so rth is equal to ro is 1.2 minus ri is 0.9 divided by 4 pi what is k given k for this is 0 0.157 0 0.157 into ro ri what is ro is 1.2 ri is 0.9 so <coughs> the resistance will come 0.141 Kelvin per watt. That's the resistance. That's the resistance. Okay. So this is what resistance we have got RTH. Why we are determined RTH? Because I have to put Q is equal to delta T bar. What is delta T now? Delta T, as I told you, there will be always higher temperature minus lower temperature. What is higher temperature? Higher temperature in minus 183 degrees Celsius and 0 degrees Celsius. 0 is the higher. So 0 minus minus 183. That will be delta T. Okay. So let's put Q is equal to delta T upon summation of RTH. What is delta T? 0 degree Celsius minus minus 183 degree Celsius divided by 0.141. So Q comes to be 1299.76 watt. That's the final answer. So only thing different here is what? We have to use a formula of resistance for spear this is the formula of resistance for spear so if you are knowing this there is no difference between spear problem and cylinder problem thank you very much